All right, so we're going to go over real quick um, the four lenses and go into each one a little bit. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about is it low calorie density? And by the way, the four lenses are the criteria that I use to, to pick foods so that we make fat loss effortless, okay? Effortless and enjoyable. Like that's, that's really the goal here because if it's not effortless and enjoyable, then what is the point, right? Uh is going on here okay all right well we'll do the best that we can but effortless plus enjoyable that is our desired outcome here okay for fat loss and so first and foremost, is it low calorie density? This, this is important because um, when it comes down to it, fat loss is about having less calories come in than are used daily, okay? Um, very simple. You don't need to get all in the weeds. Here's some simple things. What It really is helpful to look at extremes. So what happens when people are actually starving, right? Meaning what happens in situations of like famine or, you know, um, in, in war where they starve people or whatever it may be, concentration camps where they're not feeding people. That means zero calories are coming in or very little and people are reduced to just skin and bones. And what happens when there is high density calorie, uh, high calorie density foods available for cheap and you can consume thousands and thousands of calories daily? What happens? You find obesity. And so that that is very important in, in knowing, you know, if I want to uh, lose fat, I need, the food has to be, my choices have to be low calorie density. And most things, uh, that, um, uh, that are low calorie de or a lot of whole or real foods are going to be low calorie density, right? So lean proteins, um, fruits, vegetables, those things happen to be low calorie density, meaning potatoes, rice, there's, uh, less calories per gram of weight per of the food, right? Um, second thing is, uh, and again, for me, that's why I choose burritos because it's literally uh, meat. And so like even right here, I put down burritos is meat and tortillas and sometimes potatoes. Um, but the second thing is, does it taste good? Here's the thing. So if, if it's, if it's not, and I drew this Venn diagram here, but if it doesn't, uh, taste good, even if it's low calorie, you're probably not going to do it for very long. And so if you don't do it for very long, you're not going to get results because you have to dig into the, you have to spend enough time in a calorie deficit so that you use up all of the calories that are stored on your body, AKA fat. Right. And so when you have a low calorie and uh, a food that tastes good, okay, I'm going to restart this little Venn diagram here. Um, you have low cal and uh, tasty. What you have is something that is sustainable. Okay. Now, uh, because you, if it's something that tastes good to you, you're going to keep eating it, right? The third part here that's very important is, is it convenient? Because you might have something that tastes good and is low calorie, but if it's not convenient to make, right, it's not easy and fast to cook and clean, you're not going to do it. 
And so you increase the probability that you stop at some point. So when you have something that's low calorie, tasty, and convenient, right? And so you're in here in this golden spot, you you make it even more sustainable. So it's not about figuring out some cool diet or some special diet. It's about changing how you look at foods so you have a different lens or perspective so that it becomes easy by default. You're literally engineering fat loss. And that's the whole point. I want to engineer systematically effortless and enjoyable fat loss. And again, that's for me, that's where the burritos come in. I can make an entire day's worth of food, uh, a burritos, like four to five burritos in under 28 minutes, cooked and cleaned. And now I have extremely filling food for the majority of the day that gives me all my calories, or I'm sorry, gives me a lot of my protein and is very low calorie. That's why that that works. And and the the thing is, it doesn't have to be burritos. It's individual. So it might be for somebody else, you know, um, pokey. Pokey is another one that would fit the four lenses of fat loss, right? Uh, number four is can I track it easily? That that goes into how many ingredients there are, right? And so again, meat, tortilla, potato, those are the only uh, uh, calorie items in, in my burritos. Very easy to track. And so the less work I have to do, the more I am engineering fat loss, right? Effortless and enjoyable fat loss. But for the person who maybe they like pokey, right? That's super easy too. Is it low calorie density? Yup. Rice, fish. Does it taste good? Taste amazing. Is it convenient? That's probably the fastest thing that I make. Pokey probably takes, because all you're doing is cutting and mixing things. I don't think it takes more than five minutes to have it prepped. Um, and again, can I track it easily? Super easy. You put your bowl on top of the scale and then you just weigh everything out. That's it. And, and the only, and then the, like, for example, the rice, I usually use a microwavable rice, which takes two minutes to cook. And it's the same every time it's 72 grams of carbs every single time. Right. So that's what it's about. It's not about finding the perfect diet. It's about changing your perspective and the lenses that you use to look at food to engineer effortless and enjoyable fat loss. Right. Um, so that's it for this. Um, let me know if that makes sense. If you have questions, feel free to message me um, like right here. You can always email me or find me on Instagram, rambeer.sangara or rambeer at Um, You know, and, and if you ever have questions about coaching programs or consultations or helping set up programs or whatever, um, feel free to email me there or message me on on, on Instagram. But um, yeah, the, the whole point is let's make, let's engineer effortless fat loss. Let's not struggle and make this super hard and blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, burritos, that's where that comes in.